support us on Patreon to get access to member-exclusive benefits and first dibs on the latest Manchester United news. Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. I'm putting it out today. Um, and this, again, is coming out of the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer press conference, pre-match press conference against Wolves, and it's regarding Ashley Young. But before we get into the news, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter with United X and smash that notification button and click the bell to get the latest Manchester United news. And yes, so basically, just to get on with it, it's basically in regards to Ashley Young. Now, as you saw in a previous video that I posted on this channel, um, Inter Milan have been in talks with Ashley Young, um, wanting to take him over as a January transfer window um, a signing. Uh, so Inter are very, very uh, interested. Conte seems to just want all the ex-Manchester United players, quite frankly, and presumably he must have been speaking to Lukaku. Um, but anyway, um, the point is, is that... Um, Matt, is that uh, essentially Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in his press conference, he was asked, you know, is there going to be any involvement with Ashley Young? And basically Solskjaer said, not at all, not at all, not even on the bench. Bearing when Ashley Young is fit, you know, but he's not going to be on the bench. He's basically not being involved at all. Um, and so that's the title of this video is essentially Ashley Young frozen out. Um, and I think that's what's happening. Ashley Young clearly wants to force a move from Manchester United in the summer. He's frustrated the club for blocking move uh, move um, for him, given the fact that the squad um, is, is is quite short. Obviously, Solskjaer and the team don't want him to leave, but clearly Ashton wants to leave. And I don't blame him. You know, Inter Milan could potentially win a Serie A. And then quite well. Italy's, is, Italy's nice from a food and weather point of view. So I can see why Ash Young would like his final horizon. And obviously, there's a, a longevity as well in his career regarding Inter Milan. Smalling seems to be okay there. Lukaku doing well there. So I can see that the, 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 the rationale. So, But I just think it's interesting compared to the reaction for Ash Young in comparison to Paul Pogba. But anyway, um, so it just seems that there's basically, there is a standoff um, between Ashley Young and Manchester United right now. And clearly, um, clearly, clearly, um, if anyone is pushing for a move away from the club, um, they're getting frozen out, quite frankly. And I think this is probably the same with Tahith Chong and Andrew Gomez as well, who, who are in the last year of their contract, not signing contracts. And one of the reasons why I believe that Tahith Chong and Andrew Gomez aren't playing is because they, they're not signing new contracts. Tahith Chong also linked with Inter Milan Juventus as well, Andrew Gomez elsewhere. So... Yeah, this is unfortunately the way that Manchester United seem to do things, um, and I think and I think that's a shame. It's a shame. Um, anyway, thanks again for listening, guys. What are your thoughts on Ashley Young and the current predicament? If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and once again, smash the notification button to get the latest Manchester United news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.